Hello Aries, welcome to my channel, welcome to this coming week's reading. Uh, for this week I am divining through these beautiful bay leaves that I have. I also mix it with some uh, rose buds. Bay leaves um, is already a very strong spiritual tool so I find it really really great to use uh, for uh, to, to divine with also. And then I'll be drawing out cards here from the beautiful Mermaid Tarot deck. All right, let's begin. Okay, Aries. I hope you like this new uh, camera angle as well. Okay, let's begin. It's first time I try it this way. <laughs> okay, Aries, 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 Aries. Some of you are needing to start from scratch with something. Um, there, there was something that you were doing, perhaps it, it, it wasn't it proved to not be so popular with other people or, or, you know, if there's some project you were working on, something had to um, start again. And I do see some of you have just had to kind of take a, a breather you know, um, before you get too frustrated. But this time around, you know, you'll find that you learnt from uh, the mistakes previously and this time round, going forward, you know what to adjust and how to make things better. For, for, for quite a few, it's to do with a connection you have with someone with a relationship starting from scratch. There's like, there is... It seems to be some force that pulls you guys together. Sometimes you don't want to be around, like, or both of you don't want to be with each other, but then you are, whatever kind of connection that this is. And it could very well be, you know, a, 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 like a blood relative that you, you just can't really get rid of, maybe. I don't know. But it's it's like, um, is it, they're just, there's always this m magnetism that draws you together. And of course, it could be romantic. Um, but... There's something different now, and it's talking about starting from zero, which is really, really important. Um, if if both can forgive or or sort of like not bring up, it's more about not bringing up things from the past anymore because you're uh, the the energy here. I see is transitioning. Something is changing, and it feels a lot. A lot um, purer, you know, go, and so that purity, that that light, needs to stay light. And if you're bringing something, not when I say you, I mean just in general, bringing something from the past, um, it could rattle that energy, that person, and things go go back, but not back in the way you wanted, if you know what I mean. So going from square one, from zero, start, you know, starting there and going forward uh, without the need to go back because something has gone wrong. You know, it, it's like um, there's more appreciation, there's more gratitude here. And there's many things of, of like, it's the small things that matter, the small things that make them smile about you and vice versa. Um, and I also see there's more support, more help uh, between the two of, of you. Um, you know, for some, interestingly, I also see this is somebody you work with or could be your boss or, you know, there's just something that you know works really well, but there are other things around that just, again, you know, rattles, rattles the energy in the wrong way. So um, the chance that this situation has been given is a really, really good one. And of course, it's in in your hands to to um, make it the best way. You know, no more kind of stepping backwards. Um, and and I mean that goes both ways. By the way, that absolutely goes both ways. There is something I do see a limelight being on you, where there's a lot of appreciation coming towards you. Um, there is appreciation, recognition also. It's like you have, you have um, like the energy of the star, like the star card here. There is a, a lot of potential in something that you are doing right now. 
And in many ways, your work speaks for itself. It speaks for itself. Like you're getting to that point where um, you are, you, you have that kind of recognition where it's like, oh yeah, you know, this is Aries, of course. You know, it, it's it's always at a very, very good level and so forth. Um, a specific message about, you know, um, just be careful you don't trip up uh, maybe it's you know you walk through a door and you don't realize there's a ledge i'm getting something like that you know i know it's very specific and random but it is coming through so just be aware um you know there is an energy here of feeling a little bit fed up with um with some noise with some some people that just talk 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 and it's just become noise um but i i see you are so much better off with this new environment perhaps a new social circle also uh, for you there's also uh, some event maybe this is specific again where um for you to it's it's quite fancy dress up like dressing up um and even if you don't feel like going out on this event there's there could be some interesting chance encounter that you you, you come into um there's there's a lot of energy here of you being quite popular you're being quite popular in a good way in a good sense okay let's see what the cards have okay we have here the queen of pentacles queen of pentacles mm -hmm. the six of pentacles and the sun oh i love it okay the queen of pentacles six of pentacles and the sun oh um See, this shows here with the Queen of Pentacles, you you know, I see this is you, your persistence and diligence in, in uh, sticking through with, with something, with a job, with whatever it is. I get a, a specific message about a university, the work at university or you're studying there or something, um, and uh, you sticking this out and doing the best you can, it's going to prove to be Oh, good for you. Um, and there is also the the. It's like you you'll be in a in a in a position of privilege also, um, where you can also get give yourself some time off. Because that's what's uh, calling here for you to be able to take some time off once you get to a certain point. Um, I, I get here with the uh, Queen of Pentacles, you proving to yourself uh, that you can manage this, that you can do this. And also, I'm happy to see the Six of Pentacles or whatever it is we were talking about in the beginning with this other energy working things out. Um, there is the balance that you've been looking for, that equal give and take here, um, you know, which, which balances out for... Um, going forward so that's like for the long term here and it things become even more fruitful because you're happier they're happier the energy the vibration and you're attracting a lot more positivity a lot more happiness i love this here with the sun you know it it shows that um it pays off and that you can you can reap the benefits of that you know be happy in the success and for many of you it's, it's like small successes that end up being something so much bigger, you know, because it's continuous. It's continuous. Oh, and the chariot and the page of wands. Okay, the chariot and the page of wands. You know, I get a sense of togetherness here, you know, working together, even if it's on your own, but you're not like battling with yourself even, you know, or just with the things around you, not allowing yourself to get upset. It's just a message that doesn't, necessarily mean that i just got that intuitively for you so the chariot and the page of wands you are really really going for it and you're seeing an, when you see an opportunity arise you really are taking that you're grabbing the bull by its horns and you are going for it and that's really really important because um there's a sense here that you really don't want to miss out on any chances and you've managed to it's like the universe has given you this chance when we're talking about starting from zero to make sure things really go the right way this time round, and then it gives you uh, more opportunity that opening that time that space for you to 
march on forward and and it's towards victory whatever it is that you felt like was a challenge towards victory here with the page of wands there is also a sense of security here there is it's like something is calling you a passion and and you can sense and see how how um a positive it is starting to turn you can sense it and there is something about trusting and believing in your path in this journey and it excites you even the challenges excite you because you're brave you're strong and you have the right support around you as well there's definitely some news coming in with some opportunity opening up and we have here the page of cups and the lovely page of cup, the opportunity coming on. We, oh my goodness, I just said that. And we have, this is it basically, the page of cups coming in with this opportunity, coming in with this offer. I love that. This opening, you see, all because of, of the, the, the certain um, chain of events that have happened that has allowed you to come into this space that that you have been looking for that you've been asking for you know you've been journaling i see that also you've been asking i do see you've been asking yourself a lot of questions and there is perhaps some doubt here and there but very very quickly you start to see you know the the good side of things and how you have managed to adjust and how successful um that turnout becomes you know, and it's just, you're gravitating towards a situation where it fulfills you. It's a fulfillment. And this opportunity could also be in the sense of a relationship, you know, some sort of connection also. I do see uh, vibrations matching, matching your, your, your level here, your wavelength. I love it. Thank you so very much, Aries, for being here. Truly hope that this was helpful. Please do let me know. I appreciate every single one of you. Please do take care and until next time.